gonna fall down on top of me. How did he die? He died with 5,000 products landing on his head. Hi, how are you? Oh, I am sat here and I'm, I'm feeling a little stressed. I don't normally do stress, but this is stressful. This is my um, my new office space. This is just a wall for you here, but um, let me spin you. I moved into this flat in November. This is the first ever place I've bought, and this is gonna be my office space. It is my office space, but it's a total tip. Look. Yeah, I have 11 boxes all sat here. Um, 11 boxes of products. I'm quite often asked from you guys about the products that I own. When I left my, um, my office in Brixton, South London, um, when I left that, I had a big clear out of products and I put a lot to a homeless shelter, um, a men's homeless shelter, and all those products then get used, they get to go into their facilities, and then they also do some gifting around Christmas. So I was like, that is great. Um, and I've still got stuff. This is stuff that I'm currently kind of using and testing. So how I store them is I have this. I used to have ones like this in the office and now I've got new ones. I store them in categories. So I've got like fragrance, I've got skincare. And then when you go into them, I've got one called current. Within this, let's have a little look for you. You will go in and then it has current products that I'm currently going through and testing. Um, and that is how I do it. I mean, it's it's not a huge bit of science, but it's, um, I'm really organized. Like I like being really, really organized. And um, this is just an Ikea and it has these, um, let me show you, these knobs, cheeky, up there. These are just little silver ones, but I have replaced them. So instead of these, I've gone with these, which I really like. So I'm gonna do that for all of them and then I'm gonna get this stuff sorted. Um, when I do get through these products, they will be going on manfromself.com forward slash products um, onto the product section, which has all the reviews. But um, I'm hoping that once I go through them, I can pull stuff out for some features. Brand Battle needs to come back. I'm sorry, it will be back. Um, and also all my sort of like fragrance stuff. So here we go. Okay, right, that is 28 doors done. I think that looks a lot better, doesn't it? This is where all the products have been kept. I'm also gonna get um, someone, like a, a carpenter, to come in and to box this in slightly just so it's neater. I just want things neat. Okay, oh my God, more products have just arrived. Um, I get daily deliveries of products, not always that I order, but products from brands um, who are generally hoping for features um, of talking to you guys, but I don't feature them all because they're not always something that I think you guys would like. And if I do feature them, it's not always a positive review. So it's, um, it's a little, I mean, I was gonna say it's a little bit like risky, but it's not. Like this is what brands do, they send you products. So the stuff that's coming from Clinique, I'm looking, I just have to add this all in. What is this? Clinique, the new Moisture Surge 100H Auto Replenishing Hydrator. There's just, some brands just send you loads and loads of stuff. Um, and then, what else we got? What's this? I like it when they send alcohol and chocolate. If you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> then you know I enjoy a wine and I enjoy a bit of chocolate. We are now, just under two weeks until barbershops reopen, and I can't wait. Can we just discuss this very quickly? Look at that. I have been using um, Sasha Wan Ocean Mist. Favorite at the moment, shampoos and conditioners, just because I think if you've got hair that needs a boost, wants a bit of volume, then it's fantastic. Right, I uh, just got totally sidetracked. I'm really bad at doing this because I just end up doing something or smelling fragrance, so um, I'm gonna try again. What is nice about doing this is I'm gonna go through it again and work out what I'm actually keeping and then stuff that's gonna go into other boxes. So, uh, fragrance here and here. There's some room. Invictus. Does anyone wear Invictus? Pecoraban. Moschino. Davidoff. Azaro. Tom Ford. 
Vero de Fleur, I love this. If you like a fuchsia, Vero de Fleur could be for you. Oh, Dunhill Icon Absolute Unopened. I know I will get into this, so I'm keeping this. What kind of fragrances do you like? Because when I'm going through stuff like this, I'm often thinking like, what type of guy, just watching the passers by, what type of guy is this for? Um, like, I know what I like. Like, I do like those more oody, the more smoky notes. But I also want to do, um, this is now just a vlog, a bit chatting. I do want to do more of these sort of like profiling pieces and maybe get some of you guys in um, to a studio and we can maybe do some like find the perfect fragrance for you and then work at like hair products and like haircuts and styling. Kind of take that street style element back into somewhere else. The Penhaligans ones are gorgeous. Roaring Radcliffe. This one is gingerbread. I think it's also got rum in it. Um, I sometimes get Roaring Radcliffe mixed up with Blazing Mr. Sam. Um, beautiful. That is definitely staying. Uh, BDK Wood Jasmine. These come in a beautiful box that looks like a book on a bookshelf. I don't have that anymore. Book on a bookshelf. Very Scottish there. Right. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is nice. That smells like um, like a Bakewell tart. I've forgotten about that one. Ah, this is one of my favourites. Mystery Tobacco. This is the Carolina Herrera again. Um, this one, I think this is my second one of these. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Mm. This has got such a boozy edge to it. I'm a boozy bitch, you know, I want a bit of that sort of like night out, it smells a little like smoky, there's like rum, whiskey. And the fact that it's like mystery tobacco is kind of like, it's got a bit of a sexy vibe to it. Big fan. I'm a boozy bitch. Didn't think I'd ever say that. I'll tell you something, I'm very lucky to do this as a job and to have made it a job. It was a passion project that turned into a job and I love it. I get to do this day in, day out. I was gonna do this over the weekend and then I thought, no, save it for like work time because this is a worked thing and it's also quite fun. Angel, um, that was the male one by Thierry Mugler. Okay, let's go styling. Do you want some styling products? Oh, oh goodness. Let's put the fragrance away first. Not all hair products are created equally, but I do think buy the best that you possibly can for the money you have. Um, I started on products like drugstore products, which I still kind of use, you know, fudge urban, sea salt spray, um, some of the like rework stuff I think is all right. Some of the uh, like putties from like TG, I think are great. Oh my God, guys, I'm gonna have to show you in here. I'm gonna have to go through this and see that nothing has gone off because hair products do go off. Um, work out what I want to keep and what is going to go out. I'm going to be ruthless here because there's not, there's not a lot of room, there's a whole lot of room, but it's, I just don't think the best use. If you see any of these stuff that I'm talking about and you want to like have reviews, shout. Ah, one of the first ever products that I had when I moved into like, uh, kind of more premium hair products, Fudge Matte Head. It wasn't the extra, but it was Fudge Matte Head. I, um, went to a barber shop called the grooming room or the men's room I'm um, in Glasgow and I remember just thinking it was amazing to go in and have someone really look after me and it was a full service and um, a full service sounds like a sort of dodgy backstreet place but um, no it was great and I remember the stylist I can't remember his name but he was really good dyed my hair <laughs> what was I thinking but they did use fudge matte head and I loved it I love this uh, matte head master was really good in my Longer here for a bit of texture. It also smells sweet and it smells beautiful. Murdoch, great sort of London based brand, Matt Mud. Ah, Sheer Revival. Love. Ah. Behold, Texture Clay Moroccan Oil, one of the Holy Grail, Man From Self Holy Grail products. I love this, I think it's absolutely great. 
the first person I heard talking about this was Alex Costa, and he said he really liked it. And I was like, well, oh, come on, Alex, I need to test it. I trust it. And I really liked it. It was really good. So thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. Oh, I've got two. That one's basically finished. That one is finished. <laughs> yeah, Patrick's M3. Uh, great product, clay, really good hold. Smells incredible, really expensive, um, but I like it. Also Patrick, Patrick Kid who owns the brand is a really nice guy. It helps when you're not a dick. I also have some very good pre-stylers. They go in their own box, Nioxin. Um, what's this, anti-frizz cream, can keep that. One of my favorites, Anti-Gravity, um, they have the spray, this is Kevin Murphy, and they also have this, which is more like a cream. I think they're fantastic and they give you really great volume. The cream, I think, builds, so this is the cream, it builds more thickness with volume and then the spray, which is similar, um, it's pink and it's a larger bottle, I think gives um, more height, but it doesn't necessarily thicken the hair so much. Awful. Um, cocaine clay by, who was this by? I don't know. It's just like this arrived, it had like fallen apart and I just think it's one of the worst names ever. Bumble and Bumble Surf Foam. This is like a mousse and a sea salt spray in one. I really like it. One of my favorite mousses, Full Form Mousse, again, um, by Bumble and Bumble, 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 very good. One of my favorite sea salt sprays, Hachuan Ocean Mist, so great. And I'm almost finished one, so that's good. Love this, Northern Light Sheer Revival, fantastic product. You can see how much I have used. Great brand too. <laughs> this is quite exciting really, it feels a bit like Christmas. Getting lots of things and some things you think, I don't really want that. Oh, another box of fragrance. Yes. Okay, we need another, we need another box. I'm really excited for when this whole like lockdown finishes and it's safe to have people around here and I can have some of my friends into the office. And uh, I mean, this is my idea of fun. I can make them a martini and we can go through fragrance together and find something they really like. Um, let's put these styling products away. Actually, we'll leave them there. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. If you're a Tom Ford fan, then how nice is that? I love these. Look at that. Jean-Paul Gaultier, they always do a, like a special edition, limited edition Christmas one in a snow globe and they just look so great. Um, Black Phantom, Killian, Dark Lord, sorry. So heavy. Um, I like it, I don't love it. It's, um, it's an, I wore this one to a dinner and the people around me were like. <laughs> Put some of these away, styling. Is that that one? Yes, that is empty. So that can go in here. Come on. This is gonna fall down on top of me. How did he die? He died with 5,000 products landing on his head. Oh, come on. Great, another box done. And I've got more fragrance to go. This is one of those jobs that I start and then I instantly regret. That's all makeup. Makeup products, lots of mattifying products. There's lip products, there's Boy de Chanel, there's under eye, so that will go my skincare. Um, and we will get them in a box. Goodness. Fragrance needs to stay low down, I think. Because that's a, that's a bad idea. This is skincare. Sk 
skincare is more likely to have gone off, so I'm gonna be really careful with what I've got. Oof. Some stuff I really wouldn't put on my skin, like any sort of like charcoal masks. It's a no. These are always fun. The OK um, mask, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3 and C kelp. That is a detoxifying mask. I'm gonna keep these, these are always good. There has been so many skincare brands just launched for guys and they're not always so good. Right, sun is coming down. We're at, what time is it? Alexa, what's the time? It's 6.26 p.m. 6.26 p.m. Sunset is now at 7.30. I'm pretty sure 7.20, 7.30. This isn't going to go on for too long. I'm on my final box of electricals. Once that's done, I'm done. And then it's a case of um, actually using these things. Let's shut this. There we are, okay. Get a bit of light on. <laughs> ah, it's taken too long. It's taken far too long. If I hadn't been filming this, I would have stopped hours ago because I've had enough. It started off as, oh, look how many products I've got. And it's finished on, I'm really not enjoying this. But it's done. It is done. Behold, I've also got a really low battery. Um, everything has gone away. These are all the products I own. Um, I mean, there's some in my bedroom, but we'll figure out about them. These are all the products I own. Um, we have got them all categorized. They say we. I did this. You didn't. Um, there's fragrance. There's skin care. There's hair care. There's body. There's random stuff in there that's not labeled. And there is... What else is there? I've not said current so that's all the new stuff and um, that means i can now do my job and not be sort of um sidetracked and sidelined with stuff but i think i've done pretty well and i'm really pleased gasping for a drink but i'm trying not to drink midweek and just try and be a bit more boring and um, but anyway there you go that's been really exciting what a video i've had so much fun i'm sure you have too if you've still not pressed subscribe then please do hit subscribe right now it'll be just above the fragrance box there also more video suggestions down there if this has really made you think oh i want to watch more of them then there and um, head to the products pages there but until my next new video if you're going to come back bye bye